Welcome back to the Reno Bighorns Halftime Show. Since its debut in 2001, the D-League, or the NBA Development League, has seen dramatic growth. My name is Herb Santos Jr., born and raised here in Reno, Nevada, and I am the managing owner of the Reno Bighorns. You know, when we talk about the D-League, it is the second best league in the world, second only to the NBA. When you look at the type of players that are playing in the D-League, it's like watching an all-star game of the top college talent um, playing basketball every night. You're seeing former NBA players that are trying to get back into the NBA uh, playing on teams. Sometimes people don't realize that you know this is the official minor league of the NBA. This is where players come because they're right on that fringe of getting into the NBA and this is going to be the best opportunity to be seen by scouts, NBA scouts, because we have NBA scouts at every one of our games. People come and they walk out and they say, wow, I didn't realize that the basketball was that great. And it's fast, it's exciting, it's high caliber. Every person that's playing is looking for that shot to make it the NBA, so they're given 100%. Um, and I've yet to have someone walk out of a, of a, of a you know, Big Horns game and say, you know, Herb, that really wasn't that great of basketball. It wasn't exciting. I've never heard that. I've only heard, wow, that's, I, never, I didn't realize it was that great of basketball. I didn't realize the players were that caliber. Um, we've already had uh, an assignment with Ray McCallum. He came down and played in the first couple of games so our, our local fans can see one of the youngest uh, talents in the NBA play here in Reno. Much like some of the other talents that, that have played here, Jeremy Lin, Danny Green, Steve Novak, um, Garrett Temple, Tony Roten, who has recently just been having this a great uh, season with the 76ers. Uh, so it, that's what makes the, the D-League so much fun, watching the Reno basketball so much fun because you get to see these future stars of the NBA. Hey, we now, Nevada now has a professional basketball team in our backyard. They don't have to travel to the Bay Area. They don't have to travel to Sacramento or LA or Salt Lake City or Portland to see an NBA caliber basketball team. They have it right here in their own backyard. We think it's great that Reno can promote itself as having a professional basketball team. We think it helps the, the uh, downtown revitalization by bringing people you know, downtown into the, into the city to enjoy the game, to enjoy the restaurants that are, that are downtown. Um, really what it's about. This is a community basketball team. We want to we want to be there with the schools. We want to help them with their fundraising. We want to help the nonprofits be able to raise money for their uh, uh, for their organizations. And so we create all these different programs which allow them to do that. We want the community to be proud of this team and and, and realize it's 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 not Herb Santos and Steve Adams and Jeff Adams basketball team. This is a community basketball team. We are so lucky to have an owner who cares so much about his community and his team. Thank you for joining us at the halftime show. Stick around for the second half. I'm Antonia Poland, My21 TV.